conspiracy theories around land grabs and the tr the tragic and deadly Hawaiian wildfires are claiming lives and fueling conspiracy theories around land grabs and even a Bill Gates laser starting it. But as with many conspiracy theories, is there some basis in truth or is it, as it is apparently seeming to be, already potentially Joe Biden's Katrina, a mishandled catastrophe where the government has shown to be out of touch with the people? <laughs> Hello there, you 6.5 million Awakening Wonders. Thanks for joining us on this voyage to truth and freedom where there is often much suffering and much division before mutual awakening is achieved. Hit the notification bell and subscribe right now. It helps us deeply to move forward if you join us and ensure that our content reaches as many people as possible. We are in the midst of a great tragedy and whenever there are events of this nature, it's prudent to acknowledge the suffering of those most immediately affected and wise to recognise that mainstream media and state interest continually use legitimate tragedies in an opportunistic way. Is there some way that we can benefit from these events? You don't need to go so far as to say, hang on a minute, was this deliberately caused? Although it's always worth analysing and scrutinising all possibilities, one thing I've learned in the last few years is things that start off as wacky conspiracies often end up being conspiracy facts. But even in the event where there are rather more exaggerated conspiracies out there, you can often find when you look closely that there's a grain of truth in them, or even more than a grain, a kind of legitimate concern that powerful interests benefit from what to most people are tragedies. You can see that across the globe. Financial catastrophes that ruin most people's lives are beneficial to financial elites. Wars that ruin the lives of Ukrainian and Russian people are beneficial to uh, the weapons manufacturing industry. So how is this fire being used? What's the truth about it? And why are there so many conspiracy theories? Let's first of all have a broad look at how the mainstream media are reporting this story. This morning, as new videos show the inferno that engulfed Lahaina and how residents spent hours in the ocean to survive, anger is growing. How did the nation's deadliest wildfire happen with no warning? The search for the missing and dead is just getting started. Canine cadaver dogs arriving over the weekend. Some extraordinary language already, canine cadaver dogs, and also some identifiable images now that we're all becoming quite accustomed to. Apocalyptic images of burning forests and burning towns, particularly novel are the images of the people in the water. That's an especially terrifying image, I would say. We're interested in how the media report this and how the state exploits it, and whether or not there's any truth in some of the more seemingly outlandish claims that there's a land grab at play and that this is somehow beneficial to elite interests and indeed could these fires have been deliberately caused. I find when investigating peripheral issues or peripheral ideas it's very important to ensure you don't say anything that you can't demonstrate to be true but you also don't neglect to point out that powerful interests are being served because that is so often the case. During the last three years when most people suffered enormously some incredibly powerful interests benefits. Obviously and notably big tech, big government, big pharma all benefited. That's plain. The numbers are there. So when it comes to a tragic, immediate and awful event like this, which is plainly devastating, nasty, despicable, let's have a look at how the event could be exploited subsequently, as well as if there's anything unusual about its origin. More than 2,700 structures have been destroyed, most of them homes. Residents desperate to get back. We're mad. We're mad. You know, we didn't just lose our homes. We lost our town. The cause of the blaze is still under investigation. <laughs> Videos shot from the water show both how bad the fire was, but also how strong the wind was blowing. Obviously, there are official investigations into the origins of this fire. And as with any news event these days, there are ideas, theories, notions, and I think always speak to deep scepticism about mainstream narratives, deep cynicism about the relationship between those that govern and those of us that are governed. One thing for sure is that these disasters often demonstrate how out of touch government are with the people that they govern. Whether it was the East Palestine row disaster, where the Biden administration, who claimed to care a great deal about the environment, responded badly, or famously,